Welcome, I'm Jess Gomez from the Intermountain Medical Center Heart Institute, and we're here with Dr. Brent Muelstein from our Intermountain Heart Institute, talking about some of the exciting projects and studies that you have here at ACC that you presented. Let's talk about your abstract relating to vitamin D. Oh, thank you. Yes, we're very excited about the results. The study was called Assess D, mm -hmm. and the idea behind it is to find out, is vitamin D deficiency, which we know is associated with heart disease, is it causative or just associated? In other words, because you have heart disease, because you're sick, do you have low vitamin D? Or because you have low vitamin D, do you get heart disease? It's an important thing because otherwise you can treat them or not treat them. So we do know that patients who come in with heart attacks have very low vitamin Ds. But there is a proposal that maybe it's the heart attack that made the vitamin D go low. <laughs> Now we can't schedule people to come in and have a heart attack and measure their vitamin D before and after. So we did a similar study looking at patients who come in for open heart surgery, which is very stressful in the mm -hmm. same way as a heart attack. Mm -hmm. And we measured their vitamin D before and after surgery and to see whether it dropped and whether it dropped as much as we found in patients who come in with heart attacks. We also measured whether or not we could change that. If it did lower it, could you? overcome that by giving them vitamin D supplementation. So we randomized them to get vitamin D supplementation or not. Mm -hmm. What prompted the study? What, what's your interest here? What are you well, trying to find out? We've been very interested for a long time in our observational findings that vitamin D deficiency is strongly associated with heart disease and death. We also, however, know that national guidelines say, well, until you prove that vitamin D supplementation is beneficial, we're not going to necessarily recommend it for everybody. Mm -hmm. And so this was one of the mechanistic approaches to try to figure out what exactly is happening with vitamin D and perhaps give us some information as we are pressing forward with a randomized trial to find out the real answer. And what findings did you come up with? Well, what we found is that surgery, open heart surgery, does lower vitamin D levels, but not nearly as much as we would have expected in somebody who came in with a heart attack. But we also found that you can raise the vitamin D in the patients by giving them vitamin D supplementation. Now we are in the process of getting the information to see whether or not the supplementation, which prevents the lowering that happens because of the stress of surgery, actually reduces uh, cardiovascular complications after open heart surgery. And we'll be presenting that when we present our abstract. Interesting. The next steps based on your findings? Well, the next steps are to confirm these findings by doing our target D trial, which is now ongoing, in which we're actually going to take patients who come in with a heart attack and randomize them to get supplemented mm -hmm. with vitamin D or not. And then we're going to follow them to see if we reduce the second heart attack. Interesting. Vitamin D has been in the spotlight recently, the last few years, uh, as kind of the cure-all for just about everything. Um, where does that fit into the research you're doing here? Well, it emphasizes that anything that's a sort of a nutritional supplement, somebody's going to claim it does everything. Mm -hmm. And we need real hard evidence data. So we think this trial was a start with the Assess D, and then the Target D trial that's coming is going to give us real placebo-controlled outcomes data in which we can figure out, is it good to supplement with vitamin D if yours is low or not? And we'll be able to report that. Well, that's fantastic. Thank you for your time. Congratulations on your great research. We invite all of you to stop by the Intermountain Heart Institute booth in the exhibit hall at ACC 2018 and to visit with Dr. Milstein and our other clinicians who will be there presenting their research findings. Thank you so much for joining us and have a good day. Thank you.